I'm in trouble, Mr. Potter. I need help. There's some sort of an accident in my company short in their, or short in their accounts. The bank examiner up there today, I've got to raise $8,000 immediately. Oh, is uh, that what the reporters wanted to talk to you about, George? The reporters? Yeah, they called me from the uh, Savings and Loan Building. Um, there's someone over there from the DA's office also, and they want to talk to you. Please help me, Mr. Potter. Help me, won't you, please? Can't you see what I'm, it means to my family? I'll pay you any sort of, of bonus on the, on the loan, any interest, if you still want the building and loan, and why I... Is there a discrepancy in the books, George? No, sir. There's, there's nothing wrong with the books. I've just misplaced $8,000. I can't find it anywhere. You misplaced $8,000? Yes, sir. Um, well, have you notified the police? No, sir, I didn't want any publicity. Harry's, Harry's coming tomorrow, homecoming. Harry's homecoming tomorrow. Well, uh, I'm sure they'll believe that one. What have you been doing with that money? Um, anyway, playing the stock market? No, sir, no, sir. But is there a woman? Everyone knows you've been giving money to old Harriet Black. Who? Ah. It doesn't make any difference to me, George. Um, why did you come to me? Why don't you go to Sam Wainwright? He's got plenty of money. I can't get a hold of him with my, um... No. Well, what about all your other friends, George? They don't have that kind of money. Y you know, you're the only one that has that, that can help us. Well, my, my, my. All of a sudden, I've become very important to you. Well, do you have any collateral, George? No, sir. No stocks, no bonds of any kind? Life insurance? I have life insurance policy. Well, great. How much equity do you have?